Welcome to Big Pool Discipleship 101, The Bible in a Year, Week 9, Numbers 35 through Deuteronomy 16, from Levite Towns to Asherah Poles. In Numbers 35, what was the town plan for the Levites? What were the cities of refuge? How many were there? How do they compare to a modern prison system? How does the assembly compare to a modern jury? Who was the avenger? In Numbers 36, what was the additional situation with Zelophehad's five daughters? How was it resolved? Congratulations, you've finished Numbers. In Deuteronomy 1, what was about to happen? What history did Moses rehearse with the people about the judges? Twelve Scouts, and Israel's Rebellion. In Deuteronomy 2, how long did Israel wander in the wilderness? Who did Israel first defeat in conquering the land? In Deuteronomy 3, who did Israel conquer next? Why would a loving God have everyone killed? Will they eventually receive mercy? Does Revelation 21 verse 4 give us some kind of clue? On what side of the Jordan was the inheritance of the two and a half tribes? Why was Moses forbidden to cross the Jordan? In Deuteronomy 4, what did God say in preparation for the second giving of the law? How would you summarize idolatry? How does this chapter describe God? How many cities of refuge were east of the Jordan? In Deuteronomy 5, can you summarize the words of the covenant? The Ten Commandments. Deuteronomy 6 through 11 expound upon having no other gods. In Deuteronomy 6, how is the commandment no other gods expounded? How does verse 4 relate to our later understanding of the Trinity? What do verses 5 through 9 teach parents? What do verses 10 through 12 teach about the danger of wealth? In Deuteronomy 7, what reason does God give for destroying the Canaanites and their temples? How does this relate to us being serious about sin? How does it relate to having no other gods? How does Deuteronomy 8 relate to having no other gods? When we become wealthy, what must we be careful not to forget? In Deuteronomy 9, after we become wealthy, what must we not forget about ourselves? What did Moses remind the people about the golden calf? How does this chapter relate to having no other gods? In Deuteronomy 10, what did Moses remind the people about the tablets? How does fearing God relate to having no other gods? How does circumcising our hearts relate to the New Testament? In Deuteronomy 11, how do loving and obeying God relate to having no other gods? What are the blessing and curse? Deuteronomy 12 relates to having no graven images. How? What was the importance of a central worship place? How does Deuteronomy 13 expound upon having no other gods? In Deuteronomy 14, what foods were clean and unclean? What was what the Jews call the second tithe? What was the third or third year tithe? In Deuteronomy 15, apart from a land Sabbath, what was the seventh year for? Could this be applied today? Could loans be structured to account for a seventh year? Indentured servitude was a way to pay off debts. How was it structured? Which bank today would supply liberal gifts when a debt is paid? What did the firstborn picture? In Deuteronomy 16, what were the three festival seasons? What are the three main Christian festival seasons? Well, that's it for this week. Until next time, God bless you.